My name is uh, Donald Hawes, Rhode Island Welding. I'm a local 37 iron worker. I needed to set a floor. I needed to measure the locations of where I needed to install my beams and my columns. Uh, the area needed to be all prepped and cleaned up from the old paint residue and stuff that was on the columns. We made uh, these stubby columns to carry the beams from one side of the building to the other side of the building. And then intermittent to that, we used the columns that were already in place and we had to weld clips on the columns at a certain height to be the same height as the columns that we installed from the upper beams. After that was all done, everything got welded 100%. Then we put the deck on top. Once the deck is run all the way across, you storm tack it down so it doesn't move as you're walking across it. And you continue that in each bay until the whole floor is complete. Then you weld it down. It's a puddle weld. It's about the size of a nickel, and that gets done on this particular deck 100%. Now you have to screw all the laps. That's where the overlaps go. That's so when they pour the concrete on top of it, the joints don't separate and allow the concrete to slide through the joints.